Hi, it's Tom here, and welcome to another Gradle best practice tip. And have you ever had the problem with your Gradle project where it relies on a specific version of Java, and then when people clone your project, they don't have that version and it doesn't work? Well, that problem doesn't exist anymore because now we have Java toolchain support. And I'm going to show you how to set it up so you no longer have this headache in your own project. So let's get right into it. So let's imagine a scenario where a friend has asked us to download this awesome new project and just run Gradle W run and we're going to see some very cool stuff. So I'm going to follow along with these instructions and here's the project, here's the branch and let's just run dot slash Gradle W run. And I've got a big fat error and I'm feeling a little bit disappointed right now. And right here we've got an error cannot find symbol record. So I give this friend a call and say, hey, what's going on? We've got an error. And he has an idea. He says, what version of Java are you using? I say Java 11. He says, oh, no, 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 you've got to use Java 16. OK, I say, I'll give that a go. I'll download Java 16 and I'll run this with Java 16. But this is your last chance. And if you remember that in Gradle, in the classic way of working, it makes use of the Java underscore home environment variable. Right now, this is actually set to Java 11, and we can see that if I echo Java underscore home. So I've been running this project with Java 11, but I need to use Java 16. And I can just set that up by re-exporting Java home with this value, which points to JDK 16. And right now, I'm going to run dot slash Gradle W run again and hope for the best. I've got some awesome Gradle features output here and my friend has redeemed themselves. So I'm going to open up a new terminal window, and I just want to show that with a new terminal that the Java home has been reset to Java 11, and that when I run at dot slash Gradle W run, we do have the error again, and we're going to go and fix that by setting up the Java toolchain integration in the build script. So I've gone and opened this project in IntelliJ IDEA, and just as an interest point, let's have a look in source here main, Java, and here we've got a class. And if we open up, we've straight away got a syntax error. Same thing actually, because we're trying to use this new Java 16 record feature. It's a way of easily defining data classes. And just like when we ran on the command line, IntelliJ is compiling this with Java 11 rather than Java 16, so it's got all the same problems. So how can we fix this? Well, it's actually quite straightforward. We go into the build.gradle here, and right at the bottom here, I'm going to configure this Java configuration. And within there, we have toolchain. And within there, we just say language version equals Java language version dot of 16. And of course, you can put whatever version you want in there. 16 is the latest at the time of filming. And what this is going to do in the background is check whether we already have Java 16 installed. If we don't, it's going to go off to the internet and download it, and it caches that version of Java. And it just means that whenever this project compiles or runs Java, then it's always going to use version 16. Back in the terminal now, we're going to run at Gradle W run again. And this is successful. So even though we're running Gradle with Java version 11, because we've specified the Java version in the toolchain to use 16, then that's worked correctly. And this is very cool because we can commit this into our project, and it means that whenever anyone clones this project, they're going to use that specific version of Java. So just as a quick recap, here's the syntax again, and we're setting the Java toolchain language version to 16, which means that within this project, if we compile or run Java, it's going to use that version and not the version that we're running Gradle with. So we've just seen how to solve one specific problem with the Gradle Java toolchain. I've got a question for you though. Do you have any other problems in your build which you think might be solved with the Java toolchain? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and I look forward to seeing you in the next Gradle best practice tip.